Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to work on a very interesting use case. And we are going to, you know, build AI agents using Crew AI for flight crash investigation reports. If you look at all these slides, right, the air transportation, and it's one of the safest transportation medium. And you know, if you compare that with uh, railways and, you know, the uh, the buses, the vehicles that we have, uh, air transportation is one of the most safest. But though there are a lot of scenarios where you see incidents that has happened in past, like where there are common, you know, uh, common things like bird strike, you know, the crashes can happen through different ways, the weather, the, uh, you know, the pilot errors, the the machinery fails and whatnot. And these all fall under something called safety critical communication or SCC because both human lives and the infrastructure are involved and these communications that you see so if you if you have um, of course i assume that you have boarded flight so whenever you board a flight pilot has a standard way to welcome you on board you now they cannot come and say hey hi so no how you're doing and all of those things they have a set protocols that they follow to interact with the people on board the people on board and also their crew and the ATC, air traffic controller. So if you look at the way the communication happens between the ATC and the pilots, they have a set, they have a manual that they have to go through in their training, in their training period and they learn how to interact with each other, uh, both the side, both the ATC and the pilots. And they have to follow that. They have certain ways to, you know, uh, interact. Uh, they have some code uh, and they have some, uh, you know different actions completeness and blah 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 okay sequences and whatnot so and this can be seen anywhere else you know if you if you see the call centers the contact center in different organizations you know where you are selling some products the uh, uh, the online uh, that you see or uh, even the bpos you know the call center that we have everywhere you go you know wherever the communications are involved within an organization Organizations will have their own protocols and their own guidelines, how to talk to consumer, the clients, customers, whatever you call it. So anywhere, if you want to analyze these kind of things and create a report, that's what we're going to do in this video. But we're going to have laser focus on uh, the flight incident investigation report. And uh, we will take some audio files, uh, which, which are nothing but the conversation between the ATC, air traffic controller and the pilot. And then we'll try to create a report. Now, these reports are really helpful for the team, you know, who are like, who are doing audits, who are doing compliance checks and whatnot. So whenever, I, whenever an incident happened, whenever there's a crash that has happened in the past or also whenever it happens, uh, the team has to create a report. The investigation team has to create a report out of it. And that happens anywhere, even in railways, you know, the air transportation, uh, telehealth and whatnot right so that's what we're going to look at here in this video we're going to use ai agents crew ai and combine that with the fastest speech to text ai model that had been re that had been released recently by grok that's available through grok and we're going to leverage whisper through grok api now if we look at here on my screen this is how it looks like so you can see we have a streamlit app flight incident investigation report app where you have a file uploader and you can upload your files here so i have uploaded an audio file let me first uh, play that so you can you can listen to this zero tower six two three two hotel we just got hit by a bird pretty good on our way i don't know if you got that three two hotel we just had a pretty serious bird strike on our way and we're flying just fine but we're gonna come in the way tricky three two hotel roger tricky three two hotel did you need any assistance no nah, it seems like it's not an issue we got some damage to our wing we're just trying to see the turns pretty shallow here you can see this you upload an audio and this audio is live this is not a ai generated audio i am getting this from live atc.net you can find out uh, this is the most up updated uh you know repository where you can find out the conversations between the atc and the pilots and you can find out you can look at here the last few days like third of this month there has been a recording that's called a small plane flips on runway at Montgomery field and whatnot so you can take it from here you just have to click on this and then it downloads you can see it over here in the right hand side top it downloads the file so you can take it from live atc.net let's come back here so how does the flow looks like guys 
the first is that you need an audio you upload here then you need a transcription so transcriptions are possible through multiple ways you take open source you take closed source open source where you go and download some models from hugging face or wherever and then you pass it you pass your audio to that model it gives you a transcription so there are a model called whisper by OpenAI released two years back, September 2022. If I'm not wrong, where they released five different model variants, weights, weights variant, one model different weights variant. It started from tiny, small, base, medium, large. But if you use the larger models, you need GPU to run it, and not everybody can afford a GPU. That's why later on there are different techniques that the researchers used it. Faster, faster whisper. You know, whisper jacks and whatnot. So, you know, they built it in jacks, somebody built it in rush, somebody built it in some different, uh, you know, some different, uh, I'll say, different using different techniques. So, you can run it on a compute limited devices. Uh, recently, Grope, you know, who has already been very famous for fast LLM inference, they have made whisper available from their Grope API. And that's one of the fastest so far, 70x faster than the current way of doing transcription. And you know, I'll show you that. And once we get the transcription, we have an agent that creates this report. You can see this is what it creates. So it creates, it says this report provides a comprehensive analysis of the communication between air traffic control and the pilot of flight 123 during a flight operation. It gives you some flight information, what is whatever is available. You can see in this case, the flight number is available and the runway is available. Then the key communication events, taxi clearance, the pilot is requesting permission to taxi the, the you know, the when before taking a, before when a flight uh, take off the taxi right on the runway so you can see it's asking permission to taxi to runway 27 and these are the code that i was talking about alpha and bravo these are the call signs or the call names and you can see taxi via taxi ways alpha and bravo pilot acknowledge instructions now you can see right they have started a communication and then acknowledge also so i mean this sequence is complete okay you can also go that deep if you want to build a better system hold sort instruction Instru ATC instructs flight 123 to hold sort of runway 27 due to traffic on final approach. Pilot confirms holding sort of runway. Takeoff clearance, and you can see the takeoff clearance over here. And then departure handoff, you can see it over here. Instructs flight 123 to contact departure on frequency, blah, blah, blah. Climb and maintain 10,000 feet, uh, heading 270 and whatnot. Then center handoff, climb to cruise altitude, waypoint navigation. Uh, descent and approach, descent on to 5000, you know, and final approach handoff, landing clearance, post landing instructions, taxi to gate, uh, engine shutdown, and whatever, right? And then you get the analysis and findings, the communication clarity, the protocol adherence. I was talking about the set protocols, safety compliance. I was talking about safety critical uh, communication and operational efficiency. The incident transcript of flight 123 indicates a well executed flight operation with no blah blah blah, and then you get the output over here. So, this kind of report that AI agents are generating again, you have to improve this system further, you know, to do that. But now, let's see how we are doing it, guys. So, if you come here on the code, and I'm not going to write all the code because I just have shown here in my previous video. So, this is the previous video that I uploaded that's called Is This the Fastest Speech to Text AI Model? Okay, you can see it over here. Okay, now I have just uploaded just few minutes back. So you, you should first watch this video because the trans till transcription part, you can see this video. And after transcription, I just have the crew AI code that I already have created a lot of crew AI videos earlier. Let me just give you a walkthrough of this, what's happening. We are importing all the libraries. So we need a streamlet, which helps you build a web application in Python, operating system, base 64 to give us the byte input output for the streamlit audio processing. PyDub, a library for audio processing. OpenAI, because you're going to use OpenAI API endpoint, which is compatible through Grok. And then Azure Chat OpenAI, because I am not using OpenAI directly for the LLM, I am using through Azure. And then I am keeping all my ENV keys here in .env, that you can see it over here. And after that, I'm just bringing up everything here LLM, Azure Chat OpenAI, and I'm passing all the configuration you know the configuration constant that i have it over here in this env 
and you can see the deployment name the model the temperature 0 0.7 and then i have a function to convert audio file to base 64 it takes you the uploaded audio and convert to base 64 you cannot directly give audio file and start processing it you cannot do that in streamlit so then we have a set dot page config you see this wide if you see this right wide layout now that wide layout is from here this wide and then page title ai app i have a title so uh, sorry i'm in a transcript file I'll go to main.py excuse me but this is same here this is same the only thing that are added here is a generate docx function basically that what it does it basically helps you write down the markdown in a docx file so you can download the file that's what these two function does so that's the first function and this is the second function that you see it over here okay let me do an alt get so that is generate docx and then get download link you can use this function if you want on stimulate this is same this is same and this is the same thing now i have the title and then i have a file uploader where you can upload file you can upload the audio file and then i have two different columns so i'm utilizing the layout in a better way more structured way column one i'm checking first with line number 62 that there should be a file if there is no file if even if somebody clicks on a button that will be available don't do any processing first wait to see if that file is there once you upload the file i'm saving this in my file local file uh, directory here you can see uploaded file.mp3 i'm using the write privilege as a file and then you have to get the buffer of that to write it in the directory that's what i'm doing here f.write uploaded file dot get buffer now i am loading that file and converting that uploaded mp3 to base 64 because i have to embed that in html through markdown on streamlit that's what it does here so you you are basically getting it here you push the markdown you put you like embed this audio file in a markdown and then you have to do unsafe allow html true and once that is done all of these things are done the bit uh, the audio is visible there so till here your audio will be visible you know on the streamlit app so you can play it then we have ht dot button and where we have an analyze button so once you click on that button it transcribe the audio using open ai api i will just make this grok api for better interpretability grok api but it uses open ai endpoint that you see it over here grok dot audio transcriptions dot create you are passing the model name you are passing the file name and then you are getting a response format you can also get it in json but i'm keeping it text here for the response format and then i'm just having a success message for transcription and it gives me the transcription in column two i have a spinner that says processing and then i have two agent if you look at the first agent transcription reader it has a role goal and a backstory that's how you have to do it in crew ai in the role i am writing atc black box transcription reader it has a goal read the transcription from an atc black box and clean the transcription and create a conversation flow and i'm giving it a backstory that you are expert in analyzing and reading the transcript from an atc black box and blah 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 and then i have i am passing the llm and i have allow delegation false i do not want this agent to take any help from the other agent or converse with any other agent then i have the other agent that basically write the report take the take the output of this agent as an input i will show you how because we are using something called process.sequential now here we have incident report writer agent role goal and a backstory same thing you know to get it over here and this has a writer ability so it will write llm llm allow delegation false it cannot take help to converse with any other agent and the same i am doing it for defining task as well for both the uh, agents which are defined above and then i'm passing inputs so i'm passing input for the first one you can see input transcription transcript and then i'm not passing it here because let me show you so i have something called process dot sequential that takes the in output as an input from the first agent then it has two different types of processes sequentials and a hierarchical if you want to have a look you can also do that and here I am initiating the crew. In crew, I am having all my agent, which is a list, task, which is a list, and process sequential, 
and then verbose and then I'm just doing crew dot kickoff. That's what it does. And you can you know get the output like this. similar way. You can also upload any other file if you want. You know, so for example, if I upload this file or you know I upload this file, you upload any file, click on analyze, it will do the same thing. You, know, you can find it out. Everything is here. You know to run this, guys. You can improve the output. You should always have more focus. You should focus more on evaluation of the responses that you get from AI agents. Because you cannot completely rely on it, you need a better evals mechanism. So I will leave up to you because I have a lot of videos on that. So if you come on my YouTube channel here, we have a lot of. Are videos you ready to learn around generative? 50, around 250 odd videos that you see, almost you know, 300. Sorry, excuse me, 300 plus videos. You can look at this video. That's called Monitor Your AI Agent with Agent Ops. Monitor and evals AI agents. How do you evaluate it? That's very important, right? Now you can see it's generating. It takes a lot of time, guys, to generate that. You know, you can see, you know, it has given you some output that what the flight about, you know, and what's going wrong, what's happening. Uh, communication log, initial climb, traffic vector, center handoff center communication and then you can also have a match you can match it up with your transcription and see if those those are fine this, but this is what i wanted to show you guys here conclusion and then end of report that you see let me see one thing you can also use that function you know if you look at this function you have this get download link that you see you can use this function so when you use get download link you know you can just use that below and it will you can also download this file as you know as a file over here if you need the let me just show you over here i already have the code on my github so i'll just give this link in description so you can see it you know this this will be available the same thing that you see it over here so do not have to probably watch the entire video you can just jump on the code if you are you know if you are a, like you already have knowledge of ai agents but if you want to understand the entire flow i recommend you to watch the video you know to get that done but this is how you get it guys you know so uh the code will be available on the github repository let me know if you have any questions you can also join our discord server because we already have 500 people on discord the community is growing we help each other let me give you a quick glimpse of our discord server you know on the discord server you can find out a lot of things so we have job updates we help each other to get a job if there's a requirement internship we have sponsors stakeholders and partners sponsor because if you are interested to sponsor our community the channel you know you can come here stakeholders if you are a leader or cxos of a enterprise of an enterprise or a startup and you can you can chat here with different other stakeholders and partners we also bring other communities in the same uh, same discord community or same discord server here so these are partners chat we have global chat where you know you can see people are helping each other they put all their code also here you know in this in this uh, global chat this is global you can see it we have verified chat verified chat are only for community pillars you can post your freelancing gigs and everything if you are a community pillar you can get freelancing opportunity you can make money here guys then you have leaderboards you know where we look at leaderboard then we have memes we say a lot of memes here and you can see the memes thingy okay we believe in memes we also post a lot of hackathons you can see a lot of hackathons here guys and you can see a couple of hackathons going on we have suggestion channel we also take suggestions we have the stop shop where we you can publish about your gigs, freelancing, any product services that you sell here. You can show your project. And then we have three help channel. One is for data science, one is for Gen AI, and then one is for development that you can see. This is how it is. And yeah, and then we have town hall and all. We keep doing town hall. So I'll give this link of Discord server, join the server, and also you can leverage and share your knowledge with the community if you like the content i'm creating please hit the like icon if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe the channel guys that motivates me to create more such videos in the near future that's all for this video guys thank you so much for watching see you in the next one